and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books and my oh my oh my oh my it's reached that time of the year where I'm so hot I haven't even got a bra on I was gonna say no bra no worries but I have got worries because it's probably about 40 degrees in here it's probably not 40 degrees but it's very very warm um and yeah it is the hottest I think it's the hottest day of the year so far but luckily it's gonna to rain tomorrow and then it's gonna be slightly cooler next week. Hurrah, hurrah. Uh, but anyway, today is not what is the weather and how much can you listen to Lauren wang on about it. It's my cozy reading night TBR. So tomorrow night, Saturday the 27th of June, between the hours of 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. BST, it's cozy reading night. And it is not any ordinary cozy reading night. It is independent bookshop week cozy reading night. Independent bookshop week, um, books in my bag, you might also know them as that. Um, they got in touch with me and asked me if they could come along for the cozy reading night this week and it be the official independent bookshop week cozy reading night and so it is so if you're new around here hi i'm lauren um i review books and moan about the weather um if you'd like to if you'd like to come and join me on that so um today i'm going to be talking through the books that i'm planning on reading um cozy reading night tomorrow night um also what i'm planning on eating and if the weather is cooler, as is promised, um, I'm also going to have a bath. So let's start with the books because lovely to start with the books. So I have bought my books from one of my favourite independent bookshops and that is the Margate Bookshop. They arrived in the post today. Do you know what? <sighs> I don't even know her name. I'll have to find out her name. The girl that I've been in contact with from the Margate Bookshop, um, there's been... This book in particular, the one that I'm about to show you, there has been a shortage of it everywhere and she managed to get hold of a copy for me and she posted it to me and it wasn't arriving and I was like, I'm so worried it's not gonna arrive and I really need it for Saturday. So much so that she posted me another yesterday. Booksellers are just the loveliest people. She posted me another yesterday on like a 24 hour courier thing. Both, <laughs> both of them arrived this morning. So um, in a couple of weeks time when it's safe to do so, I'm gonna drop those books back to her um, and pick up a few more that I've ordered from her as well. So the two books I've got here that I was planning on reading both of them for Cozy Reading Night, but I think now I'm just gonna read the one. So I'll show you the two that I've got from Margate Bookshop. Da, 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 da. This is one that I've never heard of before. This is You People by Nikita Lalwani. Um, and it's, it's set in a pizza, pizzeria pizza to come as well by the way the pizzeria Vesuvio looks like any other Italian restaurant in London with a few small differences the chefs who make the pizza for your interior are Sri Lankan and half the kitchen staff are illegal immigrants at the center is Tuli the restaurant's charismatic proprietor and resident Robin Hood who promises to help anyone in need Welsh 19 year old Nia haunted by her troubled past is running from her family Shan having fled the Sri Lankan civil war is desperate to find his but when Tuli's guidance leads them all into a dangerous territory and the extent of his mysterious operation unravels each is face with an impossible and moral choice in a world where the law is against you how far would you be willing to lie for a chance to live so yeah i feel very excited about that never heard of um never heard of nikita lawani and hadn't heard of this book and love the front cover because it's like slices of pizza with gorgeous gorgeous print um inside and this middle one's a map amazing so I, I i bought this planning on reading both of these and then I was thinking, oh no, I'll just read this other one. But now I've read that, I think, oh, maybe I will read that as well. So the one that has been eluding everybody um, is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. So um, yeah, as I said, I was really desperate to get my hands on a copy of this and um, the Margate Bookshop was also having problems getting hold of the copy. Oh God, look at the colour underneath. Um, but yes, it is here. So this is what I, I think I'll dedicate my, my evening to reading this. Um, but yeah, as I said, I've got this other little guy that um, maybe I will dip in and out of. Oh, that's been blurbed by Camila Shamsi as well, so that's very exciting. Right, so this is by Britt Bennett. Now, I have a copy of The Mothers, which I've never read by Britt Bennett, and I must do. Um, and I've just heard nothing but incredible things for this book. So this is about a set of twins, um, and one is black and one is white. The Vignes sisters will always be identical, but after growing up together in a small southern black community and running away at age 16, it's not just the shape of their daily lives that is different as adults. It's everything, including their racial identities. Many years later, one slave lives with her black daughter in the same southern town she once tried to escape across the country the other secretly passes for white and her white husband knows nothing of her past still although many although separated by so many miles and just as many lies the fates of the twins remained intertwined what will happen when their own daughter's storylines intersect so yeah very 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 excited to read that so those are the two books i think yeah as i said i'm going to stick mainly to this one but also maybe dip in and out of that if, unless I'm just absolutely taken by that. So yeah, so um, Margate Bookshop, love you. Oh, I've just seen, there's something else in here. Oh, it's a bookmark, oh, it's a little card. Oh, it says thanks so much, so cute. Um, I'm gonna use that as my uh, bookmark. I'm gonna put it in here ready. ready. Um, I will link Margate Bookshop down below. What I love so much about Margate Bookshop, um, well, first of all, it's in Margate. 
And further pizza chat, there's a really, really good uh, pizza restaurant in Margate that I love to go to called GB Pizza. Um, but what I love about it is that it's really curated beautifully and it's a mix of secondhand and um, new books. Um, and they have like beautiful stalls out the front which has secondhand um, books inside and then the tables always have great, great uh, choices. They have like a top 10 of what's been selling really well that week and things like that. Um, I just think it's a lovely space. It's a really, really nice bookshop and I can't wait uh, when it is safe to do so to get myself back in there. Um, and firstly to return the two books <laughs> I've arrived but also to, to get myself some new books. So those are the books. Um, what will be on the eating menu is, as I've aforementioned, pizza. Now, David and I have bought ourselves a pizza each because we want a pizza each. David is going for a pesto chicken one. Um, these are from Morrison's. Uh, this is on like a hand stretched stone baked base. So pesto chicken. What I've gone for, and I was torn between this one or the margarita, but I've gone for the char grilled vegetable one. I'm a vegetarian, so um, and uh, yeah, so we will be supping on a pizza. Just imagine, you know what I really like when you go for dinner and you've got like something really nice and big in front of you. Like going out for pizza is one of my favourite things to go out to eat, particularly the Pizza Express pizza with the egg on. That's been one of my favourite, like, one of my things that I've been mainly looking forward to having. I could even put an egg on that. Maybe I will. Um, but having a pizza in front of you and just eating, knowing that that whole pizza is, I don't know why it's different for pizza because if I went out for like a roast dinner and had a whole roast dinner in front of me, I wouldn't be as, as excited as if it was a pizza. But yeah, I'm gonna be eating pizza. And then as I said, if weather permits, um, there will be some baths. Now baths are a big, big moment in cozy reader night. Quite often I start off a cozy reader night by being in the bath. Um, as the weather's probably still gonna be quite hot, I might finish off the cozy reader night by being in the bath, which is something I don't think I've ever done before. So it'll be a cozy reader night exclusive. Um, and for Father's Day, Minnie got David two bath bombs, both um, dinosaur um, themed. This one, which is very clean scented, and this is like a little dinosaur here. And then this one, which is more sort of spicy scented. That's actually really nice, that spicy one. And that one's got like a fossil on it. I do not know what these are called. I just saw they were dinosaur themed and thought, well, I didn't think that. Minnie, our cat, thought uh, daddy would like those. Um, so yeah, so yeah, those are the plans for Cozy Reading Night. Uh, as I said, it will be tomorrow night, Saturday, the 27th of June, between the hours of 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. BST. Do come along and join in. I'll be active on Instagram and Twitter throughout using the hashtag, hashtag Cozy Reading Night. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be bloody lovely and hopefully a bit bloody cooler. And I'll see you all again then. Bye!